Uh, hello, Safan. My voice is audible. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Safan, uh, in last class, uh, did I give him any homework? No, sir. You told the homework was the same thing. Okay, you were the same thing. And uh, we have completed exercise 1.4. Yes, sir. Any question which is left? Let me check, sir, once. Okay, okay, please check it. Sir, I don't think uh, we completed the whole exercise. We didn't. So what was left in this? So, uh, Safan, I have already, uh, in the starting of the chapter, I have already marked you that which topics has been deleted from the syllabus. Yes, sir, yes. Okay. Okay, Safan, so... Uh, in exercise 1.4, question number 9th has been deleted. And from the 10th, first and second part has been deleted. Okay. Actually, the topic is difference of sets, which has been deleted from the slippers. So uh, other than this, all the questions we need to do, and we have already completed the topics of this exercise 1.4. Nothing is left. Okay. So I request you to please complete this exercise, whichever the question okay. has been left. And, uh, okay. Whatever the doubt you have, we can discuss uh, this in the next class. But I hope you will not uh, get any doubt in this. Okay, so now uh, we will start the next topic. Just, just give me a minute. Yeah, so uh, we have already done the Venn diagram. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so what is the Venn diagram? So it is a diagram that shows the relation between sets and... Yeah, so what we have to do... So uh, just, just give me a minute. So we have, uh, we have a rectangle which uh, represent a universal set. Then the set which we have that represented by the circle in the in this uh, rectangle. Okay, uh, so fun. This you already know. Any doubt in this? Yes. No, no doubts. Okay, okay. So, uh, 
Rishan, Rishan, uh, please reply me on the chat box. My voice is audible. Rishan, please reply me on the chat box. Okay, okay. So Rishan, uh, in the previous class, we have uh, done the union and the intersection of sets. Okay, and any doubt in that, Rishan? Okay, very good. So I hope you have already done the homework, but in case you have any doubt, then we can discuss the questions. Okay, next uh, we have done the Venn diagram. In the previous classes, we have done the Venn diagram. So what we do in the Venn diagram, the universal set, the universal set is represented by this complete rectangle. And then we have a sets, then the sets are represented by the circles. Okay, so in Venn diagram, now, the operation of sets we will represent the operation of sets by a venn diagram okay so first is union of sets union of sets now how can we represent this union of sets in a venn diagram so um Rishan, can you tell me that if we have two set A and B, then what A union B represent? Rishan, can you tell me if we have two sets A and B, then what A union B represent? Uh, Safan, can you tell me? What represent A union B? No. Sir. Okay. So, uh, suppose Safan, uh, you already know the answer. Suppose we have A is equal to one, two, three, and suppose B we have this is equal to three, four, five. Okay, then uh, Safan, can you tell me that what is A union B? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what union of set represent? It represents the values and the common value will be written only once. Okay, you already know this. Okay, Rishan? What we do in the union of sets, we write all the values and the common values will be written only once. So for example, in this case, three, we have an A in B also. So we will just write a single times. Now, so if we represent this in the Venn diagram that what A union B represent, it will represent complete value A, this complete, okay, this complete. This one, this complete is a part of A and as well as this B. So in Venn diagram, if we need to represent A union B, then how can we represent? We will shade this complete part. Okay, so just, just give me a minute. <clears throat> so basically, how can we represent this? is A and this is B. So uh, this is A and this is B. So what A union B represent? A union B represent the complete one the complete set A and B. And as you can see, this is the common value. So we have already taken once. The common values has been taken only once. Okay, so this is A union B and in the Venn diagram, we will shade the complete set A, we will shade the complete set B and the common values. Common values will be taken only once. This clear, Rishan and Safan? Rishan? 
Rishan and Safan, this clear that on in Venn diagram, what union of sets are present? Yes. Okay. Very good. So please note down this, draw this Venn diagram and confirm me. Then we will start the next one. Um, Rashan and Safan, please confirm me once you notice. this. Done. done. Okay, Rishan, this done. Okay, very good. So next we have second is intersection. Okay. Second is intersection. Intersection of sets. So A intersection B represent what? It represents a common value. Okay, so if we have this universal set and we have this set A and we have this set B, this is A and this is B and this is universal set, then the common values, okay, the common So the common value, this one, this will be represented by A intersection B. So in the Venn diagram, if we need to represent the A intersection B, then the common value will be shaded. Okay, Safan and uh, Rishan understood this? Safan and Rishan, this clear? Safan? Okay, so please note on this. This common region is what A intersection B because we already know that in, the, in intersection we just select the common values. Okay, so please note on this and confirm me. Then we will start the next one. So far in Rishan, this is done. Shall we start next? Safan, so this is done. Yes, sir. Okay, Rishan, this is done. Rishan, this is done. Okay. So next is, next is practical problem, practical problem, practical problem on intersection and union of seats and union of seats.
okay so whatever problem we will discuss here n a union b what represent n n means number of elements okay you already know this and represent the number of elements so if we will say that n a union b is equal to n a plus n b so safan and rishan please let me know that is this correct or not this formula is correct or not Rishan and Safan, this formula is correct or not? Okay, Safan, this is correct? Yes, sir. Okay, we will check this. Suppose we have this set 1, 2, 3, and so we have B, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, Safan, Safan, please let me know uh, how many elements are there in set A? <clears throat> Safan, number of elements? Uh, three elements. Three, very good. Rishan, number of elements in set B? Uh, Rishan, number of elements in set B? Three, where, where the four, one, two, three, four, this is correct. Now, uh, Safan, please tell me, what is A union B? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, Safan, please tell me, number of elements in A union B? Safan, so number of elements in A union B? Five. Five. Okay, what was the formula? N A union B is equal to N A plus N B. And A union B is equal to N A plus N B. So if we will add N A plus N B, then what we will get? Three plus four is equal to seven. This is correct? Five is not equal to seven. This is correct or not, Safan? Safan and Rishan both. No, sir, it's not correct. Why then? You are saying this formula is correct. What the mistake we have done in this formula? What is N A union B? N A union B means the elements which are in set A, the elements in which are in set B, but the common elements we will take only once. So what the mistake we are doing here? This 2, 3 we have taken here and 2, 3 again we have taken here. That's why these two are not matching. Okay, so what the mistake we are doing? We are taking the same value in set A as well in set B, but we already know that in union, we never take the common values. Uh, we never take the common values twice. So what we need to do, we need to subtract the common values. So Safan and Rishan, can you tell me that how we find the common value? Which operation gives us the common value? Safan and Rishan, which operation gives us a common value? Check here. What does mean by intersection of sets? Safan and Rishan. What does mean by intersection of sets? The area which is common. Common values. Okay. Yeah. So we need to subtract the common values. So we will subtract the inter section. This clear? Yes, sir. Okay, Rishan, this clear. Uh, Rishan, very good. I got your answer. So, Rishan, this formula is clear now? Okay, okay, okay. Very good. So, please note down this formula and confirm me, then we will start a question.
Uh, okay, so Safan and Rishan, please try this question. Okay, we will together do this question. So if X and Y are two sets such that X union Y has 15 elements. So Rishan, please tell me what is number of elements in X union Y? Rishan, in this question, please tell me what is the number of elements in X union Y? Uh, what, Rishan? My voice is cracking. Uh, Safan, is there any issue with uh, with my voice? No, sir. Okay. So, um, Rishan, I have just switched off my video. Now, is it okay? Rishan, now it is okay? Okay, so Rishan, please tell me what are the number of elements in X union Y? Okay, Safan, can you tell me number of elements in X union Y? Uh, 50. 50, okay, very good. This is 28. Okay, sorry, my I miss this. So this is given 50. Okay. And Rishan, number of elements in set X. Rishan, number of elements in set X. 28. Very good. Number of elements in set Y. Okay, okay, okay. Not issue. So Rishan, uh, number of elements in set Y. Okay, not issue, Rishan. Actually, I missed that 28 and I read, uh, wrote this later on. So number of elements set Y is 32. Very good. Now we have these values and we already have this formula. Then Rishan and Safan, please apply this formula and tell me what is N X intersection Y. Okay, please try this. Uh, Rishan and Safan, please uh, tell me the answer. Okay, Rishan, I will solve it. Uh, Safan, this completed. Safan, this done. Safan. Yes, sir. This done. No. Okay, then. We have this formula, okay? So uh, Rishan and Safan, you have this value, you have an X, you have an Y, you just need to put this. You Sorry, you just need to find this one. So please put all the values in this formula. Now there's a very simple question. Then please find this one and tell me your answer.
Safan and Rishan, please uh, share your answer. Now there is a simple calculation which you need to do. Uh, very, very good. Rishan, this completed. What answer you are getting? Very, very good. Okay. So, and uh, please remember one thing that uh, this is union. This is union. But in the word problems, the union, in case of union, they will say or. So, whenever or is given or A or B, then this means union. And whenever and is given, then this means intersection. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Rishan. Um, okay, I have switch off the video. So I was saying that in the word problems, or whenever or is given, then this means union is given. And whenever and is given, whenever and is given, this means intersection is given. In a question, whenever or is given, that this means union is given. Whenever and is given, then this means intersection is given. Okay. So, Rishan, we will take example and we will understand from that. So can you give me five minutes? I'll be back. Uh, okay, Stefan. Okay, uh, Rishan, so in this question, as you can see, in a school, there are 20 teachers who can teach mathematics or physics, okay? So mathematics, we will take as M, physics, we will take as P. So I was saying that whenever or is given, then this means union is given, okay? So in this case, they're saying in a school, there are 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics. So this means union number of elements in mathematics union p which means the teacher who teach mathematics as well as physics so or is given so this so we will take as this as union so um rishan can you tell me that what is number of elements in m union p rishan can you tell me? 20. Uh, very good. Now, 12 teach mathematics. So, number of elements in mathematics. So, Rishan, can you tell me? Number of teachers who teach mathematics. 4. No, this is 12. 4 teach mathematics. Sorry, 12 teach mathematics. Number of teachers who teach physics. What is this? Oh, just sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay, not issue. Now, 12 teach mathematics and 4 teach both physics and mathematics. So, uh, Rishan, can you tell me what is this? 4 
teach mathematics sorry four teach both physics and mathematics so what is this four uh rishan any idea what is this four teach both physics and mathematics rishan yes that's correct this is intersection so this means intersection between mathematics and physics so this is equal to four now what we need to find how many teach physics so we need to find physics okay this clear rishan okay very good so rishan you already know the formula so please apply this formula and find the number of elements of physics okay uh no rishan this is not correct please uh, again check the calculation okay you are doing some mistake in the calculation please check it And uh, Safan, please let me know once you join. Okay. Uh, Rishan, uh, do you get the answer? You just need to put the, all the values in the formula. Okay, uh, Rishan. So we have this formula, okay? M union P, this is equal to NN, NP minus NM intersection P. We have this. So put all the values. 20 is equal to 12 plus N of physics minus, minus M intersection P, which is 4. Solve it. 20 is equal to 12 minus 4 is 8 and P. So we will get number of elements in physics is equal to 20 minus 8. Number of elements in physics, this is equal to and physics, this is equal to 12. Okay. Rishan, this clear? Rishan, 
assigned it to you. Uh, now this is clear. Uh, after sending 20 to the position. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Shan, then we will try another question. Next question is this one. In a class of, in a class of 35 students, in a class of 35 students, 24 like to play, 24 like to play cricket. And 16 like to play, and 16 like to play football. Also, each student likes to play, likes to play at least at least one of the two games one of the two games how how many students how many students like to play like to play both both cricket and football okay how many students like to play both cricket and football please try this and safan do you have joined back yes sir okay so safan uh, did you check the previous question safan no. Okay, not issues of fine. We will uh, discuss this question. Please uh, note down this and try to solve it. And if you have any doubt, then please let me know. Uh, answer is five. Very good, Rishan. This is correct. Very good. And uh, Safan, please uh, share your answer. And if you have any doubt, then please let me know. So fine, if you have any doubt, then uh, please let me know. Safan, this done? Yes, yes sir. Now, uh, what's uh, answer? Five. Yeah, five. That's good. Very good. Uh, then we will start the next question.
Uh, Rishan and Safan, uh, this is the question. But before starting the question, please uh, let me know that what you need to find. Okay. And uh, Rishan, if your mic is working, then please reply me on the mic. Please read this question carefully and let me know that what you need to find over here. Rishan and Safan, what we need to find? Uh, Safan, you have... Uh... Safan, what is this 75? So 75 uh, is a number of students who take uh, either apple or orange. Uh, then... But they were saying that 75 was listed as taking both apple as well as orange juice. What, what we need to find here? Okay, we will write all the values. Okay, Leave this 400. Leave this 400. 100 were listed, 100 were listed as taking apple juice. So we will represent the apple by A. So what is number of elements in A? Safan? Safan? Uh, Rishan, you answer 175. Uh, just, just give me a minute. Hmm. hmm. Rishan, very good. Your answer is correct. Very good. Safan, uh, please tell me what is number of elements in A? Uh, 100. Very good. 150 has taken so orange juice. Okay. Then O will be, will denote the orange. So number of elements, you know, 150. 150. Now they are saying that 75 were listed as taking both apple as well as orange juice. So what does this 75 represent? Both apple as well as orange. So this means intersection. Intersection means the common value. Okay, common value means which is present in A as well as in O. So they're saying that 75 were listed as taking both apple as well as orange juice. So this is equal to 75. This clear, Safan? Yes. Okay, then what we need to find? Find how many students take either apple or orange juice. What we need to find? N? A uh, union. And A union O. Very good. Okay. This we need to find. So please try this and share your answer. Okay. Uh, Rishan, if you have completed this, then in the same question, we have this also find how many, find how many students, students, we're taking, we're taking neither apple, neither apple, nor orange juice. Okay, uh, Rishan, you need to find this. Find how many students were taking neither apple nor orange juice. Uh, no, Safan, there is some calculation mistake. Again, please check the answer. And Rishan, please try to do the second one. So can you just show me the answer? The formula? So this is A union O. Yeah, we have this formula. A union O, this is equal to number of elements in A, number of elements in O, minus number of elements in A intersection O. Okay. Okay, now put all the values and share your answer.
Uh, Safan, very good. This is correct. And Rishan, very good. Your second answer is correct. Very good, Rishan. Safan, uh, please try the second one and share your answer. Uh, yes, Safan, this run, the second one. Find how many students were taking neither apple nor orange juice. So, how uh, total students are 400. Out of this, 175 were taking neither apple or orange juice. So, how many students are there who are taking neither apple nor orange? Safan, so if you have any doubt, then uh, you can tell me. Safan, so this done. What's answer? Safan, what's answer? Do you have any uh, difficulty in this question, Safan? No, sir. Give me a second. Okay, okay. okay. 75? Uh, 75? No, no, no. You're doing some calculation mistake. Uh, so fun if you have any issue then you can tell me Safan so yes sir any doubt so we just have to subtract right the yeah so total students we have is 400 Okay, and out of this, you have already find that 175 take other apple or orange juice. So they are saying that how many students are there who are taking neither apple nor orange juice? So total we have 400. 175 are taking other apple or orange. So remaining one are the one who are not taking any other um, apple or orange juice. Yes, sir, yes. Okay, any doubt in this, Safan? Yes. No. Okay, and one more thing. Now we will analyze this question with a Venn diagram, okay? We'll check that what this represents. So total students are 400 that we read right over here. So this complete rectangle represents the 400 students. 
Now this is set A and this is set B. Okay. So this is what apple and this is what this is orange. This set represents the apple and this represents the orange. Okay. So uh, this intersection, intersection means this common part. Sometimes it is very easy to analyze the problem by the Venn diagram. So we will try to solve the problem both by the direct method as well as by the Venn diagram. So this, Safan, can you tell me what is this value? This shaded part? 75. 75, very good. Now, what is A? A is 100. So this complete one, this complete one, the complete, this complete one, okay? This complete is 100 or is 100. Now what is orange? Orange is 50, 150. Okay, so this is 100. This common part is 75, this is 150 and total students are 100. In the next problem, we will take the help of Venn diagram while solving it. Okay, just give me a minute. Please try this question. Question is, There are, there are 200 individual, there are 200 individual with a skin disorder, with a skin disorder. One twenty, one twenty had been, one twenty had been exposed to, exposed to the chemical, exposed to the chemical C one fifty to chemical fifty to chemical C two and 30 to both and 30 to both the chemical C1 and C2. Find the, find the number of individual, find the number of individual exposed to exposed to first is chemical C1 chemical C1 or chemical or chemical C2 okay so Rishan and Safan please try this question and share your answer then I will give you the next question for this. Uh, Safan and Rishan, if you have any doubt, then please uh, let me know.
Uh, 140. Uh, Safan, very good. This is correct. Rishan, uh, you get the answer. Rishan, 170. No, no, no. Rishan, not correct. Uh, there are 200 individual with a skin disorder. Okay, weren't. 20 had been exposed to chemical C1, so NC1 is equal to 120. 50 to chemical C2, NC2 is equal to 50, and 30 to both the chemical C1 and C2. So NC1 intersection C2 is equal to 30. Okay. Now find the number of individual exposed to chemical C1 or C2. So C1 union C2. We need to find this. So what will be the answer? NC1. N C two minus N C one intersection C two. So this is equal to one twenty plus fifty minus thirty. So this will give you one forty. Uh, okay. So Rishan, this clear? This clear, Rishan? Okay, okay. Now next one. Now uh, check the second part. Now the second part is. Exposed to chemical C one, chemical C one, but not chemical, but not chemical C two. Okay, and the third part is uh, chemical, chemical C two, but not chemical. But not chemical C one. Okay, so for this question, we will take the help of Venn diagram. So this is one forty. Okay, now uh, please see this carefully. That we have this rectangle which consists of total number of uh, total number of individuals. Now. We have the set A, and we have the set B. Okay, this is B, and this is A. Uh, next is chemical C one or C two. It's okay. Uh, chemical C one, but not chemical C two. Now, how much they are in chemical C one when twenty has been exposed? This is, ah, uh, one twenty, and this is what this is fifty, and thirty to both. So we will take this with this. This is thirty. Okay, so Safan and Ishan, please check this Venn diagram. Now, one twenty. Ah, uh, this is C one. This is not A. This is C one. This is C one, and uh, this is C two. No, one twenty has been exposed to C one. Thirty has been exposed to both C one and C two, and C two and fifty has been exposed to the C two. Now, in the second question, in the second part, they are asking that camp the number of individual who are exposed to chemical C one, but not chemical C two. So this part, this one twenty is the complete one. But this one twenty also consists of the individual who is who are exposed to chemical C two, because this is a common part between C one and C two. So, Savan, can you tell me only the number of individual who are exposed to C one only, not C two? Who are exposed to C one but not C two? Savan, can you tell me? Or Rishan, can you tell me? This complete is one twenty. This is the common part. So what they need, they need only this part. So Safan and Rishan, can you tell me this? This is a very simple question. This is not a tough one. Safan, Rishan, can you tell me the answer? Yes, sir. Can you tell me the answer? Uh, 
yeah for the second the number of individual who are exposed to c1 but not c2 120 but 120 consists of this complete one okay 150 one why 150 120 plus 30 right no but 120 consists of this complete one yeah okay okay c1 is complete one so uh -huh. this common part is also included in the 120 so we just need only this part yes 90 90 very good okay Rishan, this should be 120 minus 30 which is equal to 90 okay now Rishan, the second one the number of individual exposed to chemical c2 but not but not chemical c1 so Rishan, can you tell me the answer of this one very good this is 20 okay so if we need to write the formula, then can we write like this chemical C1, but not chemical C2, what you have done from C1, you have subtracted the common part C1 intersection C2. This means what you have done 120 minus 30. <laughs> Similarly here, what you have done from NC2, you have subtracted the common part. Okay. Common part means N C1 uh intersection c2 this clear so final addition safan so and rishan this is clear okay rishan safan so this clear yes sir okay okay very good so safan so and rishan please note down this and confirm me then we will start the next question Uh, Rishan and Safan, please confirm me once you know this, then we will start a new question. And that will be the last question. Okay, uh, done. Okay. Then uh, we will try a new question. Okay, so whenever you get any problem and you have any doubt, then please draw the Venn diagram. And from the Venn diagram, you will get the clarity. Now, next is this question in a survey. in a survey of 25 students it was found that it was found that 15 had 15 had taken mathematics Twelve had taken. Twelve had taken physics, and eleven had taken. Eleven had taken. Eleven had taken chemistry. Okay, now in this question we have three sets. In this question, we have three sets. So we have one more formula for the three sets. But we will try to do this question with the Venn diagram. Five had taken mathematics. And chemistry. Nine had taken 
mathematics and physics mathematics and physics four had taken physics and chemistry and three had taken and three had taken all the three subjects please note down this question okay and we will discuss this once it will be completed find the number of students find the number of students that had taken that had taken first only chemistry only chemistry second only mathematics only mathematics third one only physics fourth one physics physics and chemistry physics and chemistry but not mathematics so foundation please uh, note this question mathematics and physics mathematics and physics but not chemistry but not chemistry sixth one only one of the subject only one of the subject seventh one at least one of the three subject at least one of the three subject it is none of the subject none of the subject okay so in this question we have a three set a b and c so for the three set the formula is very lengthy so we have another method to solve with these types of questions Okay, so please note down this question and confirm me, then we will start its solution. Uh, Rishan and Safan, uh, okay, okay. Uh, Rish, uh, so, Rishan, very good. Safan, please let me know once you complete this question, then we will start. Yes, done. done? Okay, okay, very good. So, please check this. So, what we do in these types of question whenever we have a three sets, first draw the complete universal diagram. Okay. And write the three sets in it. So first set is this. Second set is this one. And third, suppose set is this one. So, we have these three sets. Okay, so here we have a mathematics, physics, and chemistry. So let this be chemistry. This is mathematics, and this is physics. Okay, uh, now what we do in these types of questions, we will write the values. We will write A here, then we will write B here, we will write C here, we will write D here, we will write E here, we will write F here, and we will write G here. Okay, so what the first thing we will do, we will draw this uh, rectangle, we will write these sets in the form of a circle, and what this A represent, A represent only the outside part. 
only this one. Eight doesn't mean this complete one. Okay, Rishan and Savan, please see this clearly that A represent only outside, only this one. What C represent? C represent only this part. B represent only this one. B doesn't mean the complete M. B represent only this part. Similarly, D represent this part, F represent this, E represent this, and G represent this one. This clear? Rishan and Safan? Rishan and Safan, this clear? Please tell me yes or no. These are very important questions. Rishan and Safan, this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now please check in the question. In a class, in a survey of 25 students, it was found that 15 had taken mathematics. Okay, so number of students who have taken mathematics is 15. So what represent mathematics? B plus C plus D plus F is equal to uh, 15. Okay, what is mathematics? This complete B, C, D, F. So B plus C plus D plus F is equal to 15. And this is a mathematics. So Rishan and Safan, this is clear. Safan, this clear. Okay, next 12 had taken physics. So Safan, please tell me what is physics? What are the variables we need to use for physics? Uh, physics. Physics is this one. A this complete. A plus C plus D plus E. Okay. And this is equal to what? 12. Vishan, this is clear. Now, next is chemistry. Okay, Vishan, I hope this is clear to you. Next is 11. Next is chemistry. So, Safan, please tell me what which variable represents the chemistry. Safan. C and D. Chemistry, chemistry. Chemistry means this one. So, E, D, F, G. Yeah, okay. Plus F plus G. This is equal to 11. Now, after this, 5 had taken mathematics and chemistry. Five had taken mathematics and chemistry. So which part, Rishan, represent only mathematics and chemistry? Yes, sir. Which variable represent only mathematics and chemistry? This is M. This is chemistry. So the common part, D and F. Okay, so D plus F is equal to 5. Now, next is 9 had taken mathematics and physics. Mathematics and physics. 9 had taken mathematics and physics. So, which variable represent mathematics and physics? So far? Yes, sir. Which variable represent math? C and D. Very good. C plus D. Now, uh, 4 had taken physics and chemistry. So, which part represent physics and chemistry? D and E. D and E, very good. Now, 3 have taken all the 3 subjects. So, which variable represent all the 3 subjects? Which variable is present in all the 3 sets? So, far. Yes, sir. Which variable represent all the three subjects? D. D, very good. D is equal to three. Okay. Now, with the help of these values, we will find the remaining variables. So, D is equal to three. So, uh, uh, okay, Rishan, so D is equal to three. Then what is E from this? Safan? Yes, sir. D is equal to 3. Safan, please do not one. mute E's one. Please do not mute your mic because yeah. uh, Rishan has some mic issue. So you need to tell me all the answers. Uh, next one. C plus D is 9. What six. is C? C is 6. Very good. What is F? 2. Very good. Uh, now, 
what values we have we have e we have d and we have f so can you tell me g so what is e e is 1 e is 1 no, d is 3 Two. Is two. Uh, six, eleven, five. Very good. D is five. Next is AC. So what is C is six? D is three. And what is E is one? One. So A is what? Two, two. A is two. A is two. Very good. Now from this, C is six. D is three. F is two. So what is B? Four. Very good, B is four. Okay, so we get all these values. Now with the help of these values, we will solve our question one by one. So first check the first question, only chemistry. So uh, Safan and Rishan, please check this. Which portion represent only, which, sorry, which variable represent only chemistry? G. G, very good. Rishan, this clear? Vishan, this is clear. Only this portion, G represents only chemistry. So what is the value of G? G is 5. So our first answer is 5. Okay. Now next one. What is the second question? Only mathematics. So which variable represents mathematics? Which variable represents only mathematics, Safan? B. B. So what is the value of B? B is 4. So from this, we will get B is equal to four and this g is equal to five okay next is third is only physics which represent only physics a a, a is two very good so this is a is equal to two next for this physics and chemistry but not mathematics physics and chemistry but not mathematics. So, uh, Safan, which variable represent physics and chemistry, but not mathematics? Physics, E, e very good. Because D represent mathematics also. So, E1. What is E? Yeah. E is 1. So, E is equal to 1. Now, next one. Next is mathematics and physics, but not chemistry. Mathematics and physics, but not chemistry. Which variable? Mathematics and physics, but not chemistry. Yep. Uh, C. C. Yeah. So what is C? C is 6. So we'll get C is equal to 6. Only one of the subject. Only one of the subject. So which are the variables which represent only one of the subject? So fine, uh, please check which variable represent only one of the subject. This A represent only physics, B represent only mathematics, and G represent only chemistry. Yes, sir. Okay, so these are the three variables which represent only one of the subject. So A plus B plus G. So only one of the subject a plus b plus g so what we have here two four and five so two six and this is eleven okay next is at least one of the three subjects at least one of the three subjects so what does this mean at least one of the two subjects hmm. at least one of the three subjects it's mean union yes. and union means what complete one so yes. this means a plus b plus c so this means at least one of the subject means union so a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g i guess the last is g only so last is g okay so we need to add all these so add all these a b c where is d d a, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So add this 3, 1, 4, 4, 6, 10, 12, 17, 19, and 4 is 23. Okay, this is 23. Next is none of the subject. Okay, so this, this complete one is 23. And what is the total number of students? 25. 
So total are 25 and this is 23. So what are the remaining students? Safan? Yes, sir. Total students are 25 and the union is 23. So what are the remaining students? Two. 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 So this is none of the subject, 25 minus 23, which is equal to two. So Safan and Rishan, this is clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, you have noted this one? Yes, sir. Rishan, this is done? Rishan, this is done? Rishan, please reply me. You have completed this. Okay. Uh, so your homework is exercise 1.1 to 1.4. This I have already given last time. And then 1.6, we don't need to do 1.5. This has been deleted. Okay. So first, please try 1.6 plus miscellaneous. Just give me a minute. So in miscellaneous, uh, please try question miscellaneous question by one. And uh, after this, please try question number 13 to 16. Okay. And please complete this one, 1. 1.6 and miscellaneous. So that uh, tomorrow we can start a new chapter. Okay, Rishan and Safan. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, then. Thank you.